Hi there guys and girls, uh, today we're going to be talking about an enigmatic little species, something that's got quite a lot of character to it, um, and that is the spadefish. Now, the spadefish is Tripterodon orbis. Now, orbis refers to the overall shape of the fish, um, orb obviously circular, um, and that's kind of, kind of the shape that you get with these things. It's a very rounded fish, but much like, uh, let's think of a different example, They've got a very deep body, so very, very tall from top to bottom. Um, quite thin in the overall, in the sideways, if you look at it head on like that, quite, quite a thinnish fish. Um, so very deep body and flattened from the sides like that. They've got a very steep, steep head, um, even steeper than a stumpy or something like that. So got a very, very, very sharp head like that. And um, their mouths are very, very small. For the size of the fish that you get, you've got a, a very small mouth, which kind of alludes to like we're kind of going along with most of the species, it leads to the kind of things it's going to be eating. So, small mouth, obviously, small prey items. So, with a spade fish, you're really looking at small shrimps, small fish if it can get to them. Um, it's not a very fast uh, hunter, it's more of a sort of a stationary moping around, normally in schools. Um, they like to shoal over deep pinnacles and things like that and um, group together and then they'll just pick off anything in the water column that they can. They are limited to the Western Indian Ocean, so that's our side of the world, and um, sort of all the way down, they're, they're more of a warm water species, you're not really going to get them down in the Cape and things like that, it's going to be more up around our Durbanish kind of area. They, they do get to quite a considerable size, around about 8 kilos, and that's a fish of about 75-80 centimeters in, in length. So it's not a, they're not small fish, they are fairly large, normally get them around that 2-3 kilo mark. Um, and it's generally a bycatch, I mean the guys do get them from the piers occasionally, uh, the spear fishermen shoot a lot of them because they, they're quite inquisitive fish, they don't, they sit around, they don't dart away. And being in schools, obviously, you get a lot of different targets that you can shoot at if you wanted to. In terms of the fighting ability and whatnot, on light tackle, they are a hell of a lot of fun to catch. They are, are very strong with that broad body. You can't pull them up very easily. So it's not that they are excessively fast or hard head nods or things like that. It's just, as soon as they turn sideways, it's very difficult to actually lift them. Um, you get them from the shallowy kind of areas, so you're short, well, backline kind of thing down to about 30 meters they're not a deep water species so that's why if they do if you do find them in the deep waters you're going to get them around pinnacles or any sort of rise up in the, that water area to about 30 meters of depth and then in terms of targeting wise offshore is really the main area you're going to be able to actively target them and like we said around these pinnacles and if you want to specifically go for spade fish you're going to have to look on your fish finder and find the, the groupings of the fish themselves. You'll get these big patches of, of fish and they'll either be bait fish or some or other group of or shoal of fish together. Once you've caught one, you'll know what's in that shoal and if it is a, bait, uh, a spade fish, then you can go actively target them, put down smaller baits, sort of 1-0, 2-0 size hooks and, and go after them. Squid, uh, squid or choco, either of the two, and your fleshy baits but sort of uh, more like a fillet and things like that are going to be going to be deadly for them they're not going to go for something bigger like a mackerel head or things like that so if you are going to target them go as if you're targeting things like slinger and things like that slightly smaller uh, bottom baits but yeah the, uh, the spade fish lovely fish very nice to eat um, they don't have a limit on that I'm, I'm aware of but obviously they fall under your 10 per person per day but they are, you do get a lot of meat off a single fish, so it's something that you don't have to keep a lot of. So limit your catch, don't catch your limit. And yeah, put the spade fish on your list. Cheers.